Well, good morning, Pine Belt. Another back to school, back to work one out there, and an interesting one because yesterday it was back to school, back to work, but then they let school out early. Hmm. Not so much work, unfortunately, for many people out there, but that's how it goes. And now that storm that got everyone off early yesterday is now gone, having brought uh, considerable amounts of rain to certain parts, like uh, three, almost three and a quarter, over three and a quarter inches here in Hattiesburg. You can see everything's nice and damp. Otherwise, traffic flowing smoothly, no obvious damage in this part of town or anything like that. But we do have some reports of damage, trees down, power lines down, things of that nature, and we'll get more clarity on that. Of course, once the sun comes up and those survey teams and, every, and emergency management, everybody starts moving around and seeing what's going on. So for your morning commute, that would be the biggest issue to uh, watch out for. Uh, areas of standing water and the places that got quite a bit of rain, and you want to watch out for any debris. And, and even if trees didn't fall, limbs may have and things like that. So just be cautious of that for your morning commute, giving it a yellow light because uh, everything is rapidly improving now that that front is gone. It's going to be a bit windy though, so be cautious of that as well. And you see the sky starting cloudy, slowly giving way to some sun. I don't expect we'll get rid of the clouds completely throughout the day, but uh, that is going to give us a nice little... Uh, Tug of war. I could, I could could not remember that game. I was like the one where you pull the ropes and, and somebody tries to pull the other one. I could not think of it. Anyway, tug of war between the sun and the cooling air moving in. And that's why we're going to basically bounce between 50 and upper 40s uh, as the sun tries to warm us and the cool air tries to cool us. Once the sun goes down, it's all cool air and we just plummet through the night and get down uh, into those uh, upper 20s and low 30s once again after. And that's after this morning staying in the 50s. So pretty quick swing. That line has pushed off towards Pensacola, already still causing some severe weather problems over there. I've seen quite a few tornado warnings popping up along that line. We saw a few of those ourselves kind of up here in the Hattiesburg area where we're seeing those tree damage reports, uh, power lines down east of Moselle up there. And then of course, a couple of them in Hattiesburg proper, just south of Brooklyn in Forest County golf ball size hail a lot of reports of hail that size and a little bit smaller as well and then down here on the coast as well and then over here in george county uh, damage to a mobile home and roofing damage possible tornado there i know they had a warning in the area so again that's what the survey teams are out there going to do today find out what exactly went down uh, last night. We know it was, it was a rough ride and we'll see if we can get the details on it now. So currently things are starting to cool, relatively speaking. We'll lose a degree here or there, but pretty much going to sit right there in those upper 40s and low 50s, getting as high as 53, which is pretty much where we are right now. That's our high and we're gonna fall down into the low 50s and upper 40s for the rest of the day. Then once we head past sunset, there you see things getting nice and frosty on us before we bounce back to the mid 50s only slightly below average and we'll get below, above average pretty quickly almost to 70 again by friday there and then that's when we see our next rainy day that cools us off and then another rainy day coming in here on monday and then look at that cool down coming that's our high for the day will be 43 so you know the low is not looking pretty around that time so as we take a look here we're not quite done with the rain just yet either we'll see one nice little pocket here push through right as we head into friday back end of the day is pretty good and our weekend is looking fabulous but look at this and there comes that front now it's going to be a race as to whether or not there's any moisture left because we are going to be plummeting temperature wise well down into the upper teens around that time uh, as we push into monday and the morning after so some real cool downs are coming up soon and we got one rainy day left this week